telling me to get a dog, maybe I should get a robotic dog oh my gosh. instead, but I don't have a thousand dollars just lying around to spend on a robotic dog. And so. you want a dog to go run with you. I don't think that this one. Will yeah, be able I don't to think this will, this guy's gonna come running with me. His uh -huh. battery's gonna die after like the first mile. So. Well, and in all honesty, I think William, my dog, would be freaked out by that. Yeah, no, I don't think he'd <laughs> he get gets, along with anybody else in the house. Yeah, no. he gets scared of my Roomba, so I will not be getting that anytime soon. <laughs> all right, but weather wise, it is gonna be pretty active over the next uh, 24, 48 hours. We've got more rainfall on the way for the last couple days of the monsoon, which has been so impressive already, but we are ending on a high note with some more rainfall. So it's definitely going to arrive mainly late tonight into tomorrow morning, and then we could see a few more thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon as well. So we'll take you through the latest timing coming up, but also going to be cool, cooler than average through pretty much Saturday, and then temps will sit pretty near normal as we head into early next week with another opportunity for some showers next Monday and Tuesday. So we're not done with the rain, not even after this, so that's nice. Uh, temp wise this morning, a little bit cooler out there. 63 for Midtown, 62 on the east side, 64 for Sabino Canyon. Upper 60s for Marana, Tucson Estates, and the airport. To the south and east, mainly in the low to mid 50s. Upper 50s though for Portal, Benson, and Sassabee. Low 70s in Ajo. Now here is a look at those highs today, kind of near where we were yesterday, upper 80s for the warmest spots. Isolated afternoon thunderstorms will be possible, but definitely looking a little bit more widespread uh, late tonight and into early tomorrow morning and to the south and east, mainly in the mid to upper 70s today, low 80s though for Benson, Wilcox and Safford. Same thing for Nogales with overnight lows tonight in the 50s and low 60s. So definitely feeling really nice tomorrow morning and some of us will be waking up to a few thunderstorms too. All thanks to this area of low pressure that's going to continue to swing by to the north and east of us. The best chance for showers will be pretty much from Tucson to the east and south areas to the west might not see much rainfall, but let's go ahead and take a look at that future cast. Clouds will continue to increase. So we'll start off the day with sunshine, but by 3 p.m. most of us will be on the cloudy side. A couple thunderstorms will be possible at this time from Tucson to the east, looking a little bit more widespread though as we head towards this evening and then late tonight looks like Pinal County and to the north will be uh, some of the more busy spots, but by early tomorrow morning, even around commute time, our friends up in Graham and Greenlee County, parts of Cochise County, very active dealing with heavy rainfall, potentially a lot of lightning as well. More of the same through about 8 a.m. So definitely give yourself extra time for the morning commute tomorrow. And then for the areas that see enough sunshine tomorrow afternoon and morning and afternoon, we'll see a few more thunderstorms before all is said and done. So be sure to stay storm alert. Here's a look at the forecast rainfall, uh, mainly from the north to the east of Tucson. That's where the heaviest totals will be. But even here in Tucson, we could see trace amounts to a quarter of an inch. Higher elevations will have the most though with up to three quarters of an inch of rain. Friends in Ajo might stay on the dry side, but you all do have a 20% chance for showers and storms today and tonight and early tomorrow. Uh, the long range models definitely showing rainfall for everybody. They just are kind of um, showing some differences in how much, but at least they're agreeing that everyone's going to see rain, at least those spots listed. So that's good. Quick look at your seven day forecast. Low 80s tomorrow just because it should be pretty cloudy the first half of the day and then temps will warm into the low 90s early next week with another chance for showers and storms. Overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. That is a check of weather. Now it's